Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. My name is Kevin Stumpf and I'm with Onsite Discovery. Now, here at Onsite Discovery, we have an ongoing mission of trying to find new innovative ways to save our infrastructure versus rebuilding the infrastructure. Our hashtag is repair, not rebuild. So along those lines, we've come across a pretty interesting product called the Jet Filter. Now, I will explain that here in a little bit, the specifics of the Jet Filter, but first let me set up our project profile for the day. We are working here at the George Washington Memorial Parkway, and in this situation they had a sinkhole develop that was 5 feet wide, 10 feet long, and 30 feet deep. Now, this is a very high profile area and roadway, and as you can see with the timestamp here at 5.02, it was the top story on the evening news, and obviously this could have been uh, prevented when nobody wants to be on the news. So this could have been prevented and I'm going to talk about that here in a minute. The problem with this situation is the drainage that was in place for the walls surrounding the like the abutment and uh, wing walls. Now they had weep holes that would allow water to dissipate and flow out from behind the wall. The problem is the water took all this soil along with it. Okay, so let me show you a little animation of the jet filter and how it works. So this system here is a retrofit style system that you can use with existing weep holes or you can use a coring machine, a coring bit, drill a new hole and mount this in place. It's all from the exterior. You don't have to install a new interior drainage system. So it alleviates a lot of excavation and rebuilding from the inside of the wall. So you can see this is tapered. So it slips right into the right into the weep hole and fastens to the wall. And then this interior part here, this is a serviceable filter. So periodically, depending on the type of soils, amount of rainfall, factors like that, you come out and pull the filter out, clean it out, uh, check to make sure that it hasn't been damaged in any way, and then insert it back in. So it's a reusable filter as long as it's not damaged. So we'll continue on with the animation here. So in the end, after it's done, it looks like this. So you can see from now on, the water that drains through here, the soil is going to be kept on the inside of the wall instead of the outside. Okay, so this is a picture afterwards. You can see that they had to excavate that out, repack it all in, and put a new approach area to the bridge. Now, this can be prevented. If you suspect your bridge has voids or has drainage issues, call us, we'll come out, evaluate it, and then we can use this to increase the drainage capability of your, of your walls, and then also use a, another system to help fill voids and realign your pavements. There'll be a link to that at the end of this video. I really appreciate your time today. Uh, if you have any questions about the jet filter, feel free to give me a call. Thank you.